Yesu ni bwana ah kama ona mimi nimekutendea His word of our praises, give him all the glory, Jehovah Shama. Tolisifu jine laki hakuna kama ye, Jehovah Shama. Tunamukukusa, tukisema ni asanti, manu nastaini, Jehovah Shama. Lord, you worship him, because you are Jehovah Shama. Lord, you worship him, because you are Jehovah Shama. We adore you, Jehovah Shama. Thank you for your goodness. Kwa moyo, wangu wote, nasema, asante kwa ko. Nashukuru Kwa moyo wangu wote Nasema asante kwa ko Masia Nashukuru Bible is clear 
you don't gather your people in vain. You have a specific duty to do in the lives of every one of us. That's the reason we surrender to you. That's the reason why we lift your name. We glorify you. May the power, may the presence, may the anointing just flow in our lives in the name of Jesus. And indeed we confess from our mouths that we love you, that we praise you, that we need you in the name of Jesus. Father, for every young person, for every older person, my father, we just want to cover every one of us by the blood of Jesus. You who watches over us and will never slumber, may you watch over our lives. And my father, tonight we scatter every work of the enemy. We render powerless every forces of darkness. My father, may you thunder in our lives, thunder in our families, and destroy every evil. This we declare in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And the good people of God say, Amen. Amen. And the good people of God say, Amen. Amen. Put your hands together and just celebrate the King of Kings. Celebrate the Lord of Lords. Yes. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Amen. We lift his, glorify his name. Amen. It is in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise and worship. We request you to take up your seat. You can change my microphone. This is hanging. Praise God. Praise God. Please come closer. Come closer. I know you are comfortable where you are. Just as well. How did you go this side? David, you come and take a seat here. I want to see you. One eyes was few a son. Girl, that was nice. Good singing. Thank you so much. God bless you. I love your pusscat. Praise God. I said praise God. Uh, Barack and Mark, please come and sit here in front. Are you okay this this evening? Praise God. I am in John chapter number 15. Just following up what Pastor Musau began. And they want to climax on the same note. John chapter number 15 will run through a few passages in church. Give me another microphone. Maybe I'll be having somebody to read for us. I want just a microphone to help me read so that we are reading more than one. Patia, Patia, just a smoja. David, we are not as young. You see, Patia, microphone. Jaribu Habat. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Jaribu Habat. And you make use of those microphones. Is that okay? One, two, three. Can we begin? I am the vine. I'm the vine. I'm the true vine. And my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes that he may bear more, more fruits. fruits. Hallelujah. You are already clean yes, sir. because of the, word of the word which I have spoken, spoken to, you. to you. Go to verse number four. Go to verse number four. Abide in, in me, me and, and I, I in, in you. you. As the branch, As the cannot, branch cannot bear, bear fruit, fruit of itself unless, unless it, it abides, abides in the, in the vine. vine Neither, Neither can, can you, you unless, unless you abide in, in me. me. Proceed. Proceed. Um, I am the uh -huh. vine. One, two, three, go. I, I am, am the vine. vine. You, you are, are the branches. He who, who abides, abides in me and I, I in him, him bears much fruit. For without, without me, you can do nothing. nothing. Father, we thank you. Because of the reading of the scriptures. Our Father and our Lord, make it clear for who you are, what you are saying, and the ministry that you are doing in our lives. We love you and we bless you. For this we pray in Jesus' name.
Amen. Praise God. Amen. I will spend some money to be able to bring this. That we may be able to demonstrate what we are talking about. Amen. The Bible from verse number one says that I am the vine. Yes. Praise God. Yeah. On this one, on this example we are bringing, what do you think, the, where is the vine? Is the vine in the fruit? No. Is the vine in the branches? Where is the vine? Praise God. This is the vine. One as we son. Go to verse number one. I am the true vine. I am the true vine. Yes. And my father is the vine dress. What is the scripture saying? That the vine for the vine to be productive. Yes. For the vine to be fruitful. The father must be involved. What is the work of the father? The work of the father is to make sure that the weeds do not interfere with the vine. The work of the father is to make sure that demons, forces of darkness, do not interfere with the vine. Are you understanding what I'm saying? That's what the Bible says. I am the vine and my father is the vine dresser. Praise God. My father is the gardener. My father is the farmer. The one who digs around. The one who protects. The one who takes care. The one who prunes. The work of pruning is not of the vine. The work of pruning is not of the branches. The work of pruning is not of the fruit. The work to prune belongs to the father. Are you a Christian this morning? Do you have a father in your life? Do you have a vine dresser in your life? Listen to this. If the father goes to slumber, then evil comes in. Praise God. I said praise the Lord. If the farmer does not take care of the crop then the fruitfulness comes down you can never be productive if you have not been taken care of you cannot be able to live in prosperity if you have not been protected i came to say that jesus is the vine is the vine and the father is the vine tracer. For a Christian, you must be a Christian who has a father in your life. Who has a father, a gardener in your life to just bless you, to just protect you, to take care of sicknesses, to take care of diseases, to take care of forces of darkness. Listen to this. When the farmer went to sleep, what happened? Tears were planted. Are you understanding? When the farmer went to sleep, what happened? The tears were planted. And the tears reduced production. The tears reduced fruitfulness. What am I saying? The work of the devil in John 3, John 10, 10. Please take us to John chapter number 10 and verse number 10. What does the Bible say? John 10.10. 10. I can be able to quote the Bible says, The thief does not come except to steal. Praise God. The thief does not come except to, to steal. And to do what? To kill. And to do what? And to destroy. Praise God. Three things the devil comes to do. To steal, to kill, and to destroy. What is he killing? The things that God has done. The devil wants to bring down. The things that God wants to grow. The devil comes to be able to destroy. I want to prophesy. The enemy will not bear a hand over your life. 
Can I prophesy? The devil will not be able to put his hand over your children. The devil will not be able to put his hand over your businesses. I want to declare to us authoritatively, categorically, that the devil will not put his hand over your employment. You will not be fired. You will not be fired. You will be able to be promoted instead. Listen to this. The enemy, as he comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy, the Bible says that I, Jesus, I, the one, the vine, I came that they may have life. Who is this? Who is supposed to have life? Praise God. The church must have life. The church must have protection. The church must be able to have the blessings of God. Can I say it? You are blessed of the law. You are protected of the law. You are highly favored of the law. Somebody put your hands together and let's celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The Bible says, I, Jesus, I came that they may have life and that they may be able to have it more abundantly. The abundance of what God is talking about is the abundance of the fruits. Are you understanding? May you know abundance. May you know increase. May you know overflow. God came that on the vine every branch shall live in abundance. And I'm praying that in the church our children will know abundance. Our marriages will know abundance. Our families will know abundance. Where you have lived in luck, I want to counsel. I want to render powerless every luck in your life. Every scarcity in your life. I cancel it in Jesus name. Praise God. God is a God of abundance. When you abide on the vine, praise God, you have no otherwise but to be productive. Can I say it again? May you be productive in your business areas. May you be productive in your family. May you be productive in everything that you put your hands to do. As long as the Father is the vine dresser, we will see your fruits. We will eat your fruits. We will enjoy the abundance of God. Put your hands together again and just celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. This is what I came to share. Freedom from unfruitfulness. Praise God. That we must be set free from any lack, any borrowing. You are not been, who have not been wired to be a borrower. I release a spirit of lending in your life. You cannot give what you do not have. Praise God. Praise the Lord. When you plant a mango tree, you cannot uh, 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 harvest a lemonade. One as full as sana. I said, praise the Lord. If this is a mango, then you must have its mangoes. Are you understanding what I'm saying? We want you to come to a time when people will come in your life, not because of anything, but they will be attracted over your life because of what you carry. You carry some money. You carry some fruits. You carry some businesses. And that will attract people. People don't throw stones on a tree that is fruitless. Are you understanding? When you hear people talking about you, when you see people throwing something in your life, it is because you have something they need. I want to prophesy. In this month of April, the month of breakthrough, may God release a breakthrough in your life in the name of Jesus. May you get breakthrough, financial breakthroughs, May you receive business breakthroughs. May you receive promotion breakthroughs. What do you have been praying God for? May it come in this month as we discuss fruitfulness. May your marriage be fruitful. May your business be fruitful. I came to declare, may whatever, whatever you put your hands to do, be fruitful and successful in the name of Jesus. You cannot be boggled. 
And that's why I'm saying, you are unbogable. Anybody that has stood, come and teach you. They can't teach you when you have a vine dresser. When you have a father taking over you. Listen to this. In, in, in the land of Eden, after the garden had been planted, God, the vine dresser, the Bible says, he put the cherubims, he put seraphims to guard around the... You need protection in your life. I am saying you need protection in your marriage. I am saying you need protection at your working place. I came to say that you need protection in whatever you do. God is a God who puts his people under God. Praise God. He puts his people where? Under God. Listen to this. Jesus Christ has transformed us into the blessed and the fruitful people. The transformation that Jesus Christ brings in our life, praise God, is for two things. He transforms us to a blessed people. Are you understanding? Even when you don't have money in your pocket, that does not mean that you are not blessed. Money is not the reason you are of a blessing. It is resources is not the qualification of blessing. Good health is a qualification of blessing. Sound mind is a qualification of blessing. Are you understanding what I'm saying? You know you are whole. The wholeness can only be given to us by the power of the Almighty. Can I say it? The hand of God over your life will make you blessed. It will make you protected. It will make you favored. The hand of God over your life will be able to unlock certain things that have been unlocked in your life. In Jesus name. So he makes us blessed and fruitful. When you are blessed, definitely we shall see the fruits of your blessing. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Did you, were you given a microphone? I said, Amen. Yes, hold your microphone, hold the microphone. Say amen. Even where there is no point, you just say amen. Praise God. This happens. You know, blessedness, fruitfulness happens the moment we come to the saving knowledge of the grace of the power of God. Just because you are born again, we are blessed. He who is in your life is greater than the one that is in the world. We call you blessed. Why? Because you carry Jesus. Amen. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Amen. You are blessed. Why? Because you have Christ. You are blessed. Why? Because heaven knows you. Your name is written in the book of life. Amen. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Yes. You reign together with Christ Jesus. Amen. Are you understanding? Even when you have no dollar. Ah, can we prophesy for dollars yes. in our pocket? Yes. I declare dollars from the north. Amen. Dollars from the south. Amen. I declare yes. dollars from the east. Dollars from the west. To locate my life. Amen. That I may live a blessed man. Amen. Put your hands Amen. together. Woo! Celebrate the king of kings. Amen. Celebrate the lord of lords. Why? When he calls you blessed, even the devil knows you are blessed. Amen. You don't have to walk sympathetically, frustrated, like a rained on cart. No. When you know you carry Jesus, you carry everything. Amen. Dollars, Amen. euros, Amen. rands, pounds, Ooh. Kenya shillings, which Amen. other one? Durams from, from uh, the Arab countries. Amen. Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, the way I see you. The way I see you. I see greatness. I see, greatness. I see power. I see Power. From on high, from on high. What, do you think you are? what do you think you are might not be the truth. Be I the see truth. you from the, from the lenses of Christ. Praise God. Amen. Listen to this. The power of Jesus' name does not bring the spirit of timidity. Praise God. Amen. When you have a name, the name that is above every name, 
I am the vine. You are the branches. Any branch in me that does not bear fruit, we cut it off. The fact that, that you are on the vine, praise God. Amen. You have the spirit of God. You have the power of God. Amen. And that should not be able to be equated to fear. Amen. Praise God. Amen. With Christ in you, you have not been given the spirit of timidity. The Bible says, or the spirit of complacency, but one of the purpose, one of the purpose and action, that you have the spirit of power. You have the spirit of purpose. You have the spirit of action. Wanasfue sana. Kwa kiswahili wanasema, tu nataka kuona vitendo. Mazao kwa utele. Praise God. Amen. Listen to this. God has several times command, commanded people to be fruitful. He commanded Abraham to live in the fruitfulness of God. He commanded Adam to live in the full abundance of God. When he came to Gideon, he told Gideon, you are a mighty man of Elah. Yes. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Yes. That is the reason I can sit down with audacity and say, people have called you single God, but yet a woman of Elah. Yes. People have called you childless, but yet a man of Bela. Yes. God in you makes you greater. Amen. God in you makes you a man of power. Amen. A woman of power. Amen. The anointing of God over your life cannot leave you the same. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I said praise the Lord. Amen. I want to reiterate the statement I made in John chapter 3 uh, chapter 10 and verse number 10. Go to us number 10. I came that you may have life and have it in abundance. A man is required to be fruitful in every area of his life. That as long as you are on the vine, the requirement not short off is that you may live in abundance. Yes. That you may live in overflow. Amen. That you may live in health. Can I address health? The devil brings sickness to bring his people down. Yes. I declare from this good altars Amen. that every sickness is in our midst. Yes. Every leukemia in our lives yes. must die in Jesus' name. Amen. Every HIV and AIDS in our bodies, yes. we nullify your power. Jesus, we nullify yes. your power Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every blood pressure, yes. hear the word of God. Yes. You are the one who came. Yes. You must go. You must go. Yes. We want to experience the abundance life of Amen. God. Lift up your hands above your head Amen. and just give a clap and a celebration Amen. unto the Lord. Amen. Glory to our Father. Amen. I am the vine and you are the branches. Any branch that does not bear fruit, the vine dresser has some duty to do. And this was highlighted by Pastor Haggai very well. That there is some pruning. Praise God. Amen. I wanted to say, if I was Pastor Haggai, I would have said that the end game of pruning is greater than the pain of pruning. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Because if pruning does not happen to the crop, then the production comes down. Yes. We are interested in the fruits we are interested in what do you give out. And that's why we are saying, anything to stop you from production it is the enemy of God. Yes. Anything that reduces your production, it is the enemy of the Father. Yes. Because you are wired to, be, to live in the blessings of God. You are wired yes. to live in the success of God. Yes. You are wired to be able to live in the increase of God. Yes. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Amen. Listen to me. Even if you don't own a house, 
Faith says you own a house in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Amen. You are wired to be a homeowner. That is what I am saying. Yes. It can tarry. Uh, can I say it again? Can I say it again? Yes. It can cut hurry, but it will come to home pass. Sure. Look at yourself. Yes. Tune yourself. Mm. I am a candidate of a home in Nairobi. If you don't believe it, I believe it for you. Amen. I am a candidate of a car owner in this city yes. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Why? I am blessed of the law. I am prospered of the law. I am increased of God. Amen. I am favored of God. Amen. If you are blessed, we want to see the tangible evidences of the blessings of God. Amen. Listen to this. Listen to this. I came to highlight a few things. Your life must be meaningful and purposeful. You don't have to live a purposeless life. You must live a meaningful life. Lift up your right hand and say, my father, my God, my, father, my, my, God. Life, my life will be meaningful. Will be meaningful. Why? Why? I am connected to the vine. Amen. Say, my father and my God, my, and my, my God. life my shall be blessed shall life. Be blessed Why? Life. I am a branch am a connected branch to, the to the vine. Put your hands together and give a celebration. Yes. Give a celebration unto Woo. the father. Yes. Glory to God. Listen to this. You don't teach a fish to swim when it is in the lake. It has been wired to swim. Praise God. Amen. You do not teach an eagle to soar high. It is wired to soar high. Yes. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Yes. You have been wired to live in the blessings of God. Amen. You have been made to live in the success of God. Amen. That is, you don't have to struggle to succeed. Yes. Success and you are twins. Oh. Mwe Mwe together. Yes. Ni yes. yes. Same what's up to you. And therefore, you don't struggle. You don't struggle to live in success. You don't struggle to live in prosperity. You have been wired to... Listen to this. Even if you were put in Trukana, you will succeed in Trukana. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Wherever you are planted, you are meant to succeed there in Jesus' yes. name. Bwana zvue sana. Praise God. Kuna watu wanakutupa pali ili wewe ukauka hapo kwa sababu Yesu yuko ndani yako unamea hapo hapo. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Yes. Unamea hapo hapo walikutupa kwa shimo. Listen to this brother called Joseph. When he's in prison, he's still the leader in the prison. If he's in Potiphar's house, he's still the leader in Potiphar's house. He goes to Egypt, he's still the leader in Egypt. Why? He has been wired to be able to lead. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Lift up your hand and say, my father. My father. Release an anointing over my life. Release an anointing that over will my life. break. Release an anointing that will break any spirit, any smell of poverty in my life. I cancel it. I render powerless in Jesus' name. Put your hands together and celebrate to the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember. It must be productive. Your life must be productive. Your life must be fruitful. Your life must be good example. I came to say this. Remember, barrenness, famine, and laziness are con considered, considered curses. Praise God. Anytime you are poor, that is considered a curse. You carry no curse. You can't carry Jesus and carry curse. Praise God. If you are here and you are thinking you are cursed, that curse is broken because of Christ in your life. You can't carry Jesus and walk in a curse. 
Poverty is a curse. Yes. You are a carrier of Jesus. Amen. You cannot carry the two at a go. Yes. Two kingdoms cannot be able to work together unless they agree. Are you understanding what yes. I'm saying? Those close to over your life, we are opening them now. We are opening them now. Yes. We are opening them now. Yes. We are opening them now. Yes. Those must give way for you. It Promotions is. must give way for you. Yes. Success must give way for you. Yes. Put your hands together and celebrate the King of Amen. Kings. Celebrate the Lord of Lords. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Amen. Farming is a curse. Poverty is a curse. Laziness is a curse. Yes. Atarele, come away when you lazy. We rebuke the spirit of laziness. Jesus. Praise God. Amen. You cannot be a Christian and be a lazy person. Jesus was a worker. Praise God. Amen. He was a worker. From the day of creation, he kept working until on the sixth day, he said, the Sabbath has come and he rested. Why are you sleeping long? But saying poverty, poverty, come, poverty, come, poverty, come. Praise God. You are the one beckoning poverty. You and poverty are not together. Praise God. Amen. You and poverty are not together in the name of Jesus. These are curses because they go against the fabric of the call of God in mankind. Yes. The fabric of the call of God in mankind is that you may succeed. Whatever you do must be fruitful. Amen. We want to be able to see the evidence of Christ in you. Yes. My Jesus is not poor. And because my Jesus is not poor, I can never be poor. Amen. My father, Bishop Dimba, spoke one time and he says, ladies and gentlemen, yes. this church is dead free. And I captured that. I would want to walk in the steps of my father. That one time I would stand here and I say deliverance church in Maradaima is free, dead free. Yes. Why? Because the Lord has happened in us. Yes. That our land will not be full of debts. Yes. Our families will not be full of debts. Yes. Because we carry God. Yes. The honor of heaven and the earth yes. and the fullness thereof. Yes. Are you understanding? Yes. The preachers say, kettle on a thousand hills belongs to him. If he sold one kettle at 250,000, he only needs to sell four of them. And you have how much? One, one M. Because one is 250,000. And he sells four of them. You are a millionaire in Jesus' name. Amen. Tell your neighbor, you are a millionaire. Are if a millionaire. Joe God decides to surprise you. Are you understanding? Yes. If you meet somebody who's telling you that uh, do you have any 10,000 shillings there, don't tell them, no, I don't have. Tell them, no, temporarily, I'm out of cash. Amen. Temporarily, I am out of cash. Amen. That means you could be having plastic money. That means you could be having money in the account. That means you could be having money in the investment. So are you understanding? Yes. Because we are investors. And when you invest in the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God invests in your life. Amen. I came to help us understand the key thing I want you to understand that when you have God, curses of poverty don't come over your life. Yes. Curses of laziness don't come over your life. Yes. Curses of barrenness never come on your life. Yes. Curses of famine will never be in your life. Yes. When should you live a famine life? The Bible says in Genesis that because Isaac had God, when he planted, when it was not raining, praise God, a miracle happened. Because it happened in the life of uh, 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 Isaac, may it happen in your life. Amen. That whether it is raining yes. or not raining, yes. whether you are employed yes. or not employed, yes. that is not in Pakistan. Yes. The English people say, that is immaterial. Yes. The material thing, I have Jesus. He is a way maker. Amen. He makes a way yes. where there is no way. Amen. He can succeed me where other people failed. Yes. Can I declare yes. where other people did not succeed? Yes. May you succeed there. Amen. May you prosper there. Amen. May you increase there. Amen. Ah, 
Praise God. Amen. When you know what God can, can I give you a short testimony? Yes. A just brief one. For the record purpose, last this a Sunday when I had my son, uh, Anthony Kingori was going through hardship. And I made a decision. And I said, no, my son cannot hurt and I can't go to encourage him. I told Herbert, I have, we have been in the first service, let's go, leave the church. And we left this church to go to Tasia Baraka. So we just encourage Pastor Anthony Kingori. And this is what we went to do. The Lord spoke to me and he deposited in my heart. I took Herbert and my wife and we were there. I told Herbert and Anthony, I don't mind even if I don't preach. I'm not coming to preach. I want to encourage you. I want to be a blessing to you. And between north and south, south, east and west, I had no money. But God is telling me, go look for 10 people in that church. How many people? 10 yeah. people. And I went and I stood up. I was given time to leave the church and I stood up and said, I, I want 10 people in this church. I am told that you are relocating. I want 10 people to help. I came here to help my son to build the church. Where you are relocating to, I came to help you, my son to build the church. I want 10 people who can be able to give me 50,000. I am giving 50,000. I didn't have 50,000 now. Praise God. Amen. I didn't have 50,000. But I stood up because I know heaven can do anything. That is why he's a miracle worker. Amen. I knew heaven can respond. Yes. He knows that I don't have it. Listen to this. I told the people and I, well, Anthony is like, oh my goodness. That is a God and all goes on. In this church, we cannot be able to have anybody, any one person to raise maybe Utakufanayo Pekako. And I said, 1,000, 10, uh, 10 people. Listen to what God is, was able to do. I raised 10 people and more by one. Amen. Who are able to give 50,000. And the spirit prompts me. And I tell Pastor Anthony, I am coming on 14th. That is why on 14th last Sunday I was not here. I was going to be able to collect 50,000. 50, 50, 50. I went there and I was carrying my 50,000. Why? Because the Lord has happened. When I stood to tell the people, we are raising 50,000. Listen to me. On Monday, God speaks to one of the members of this church. And he calls me. And I'm also just saying, oh, I should not be a very, uh, just an easy to reach pastor. I make a pride. Amen. You will not see me on Monday. Don't see me on Monday. And he, honestly, I was not busy. But I just wanted, he doesn't see me at his town. <laughs> he doesn't have to see me at his town. I told him, he told me, no, okay, pastor, uh, if you're busy, then uh, let me see you on Tuesday. Then he said, no, I'm not seeing you on for Tuesday. You come and see me on Wednesday. I was not busy. But I just did it. Somehow I didn't want to see him. If I knew ahead why he was looking for me, I would have told him, see me today. <laughs> Listen to this. This gentleman, who is a member of this church, who is a member of this church that talks less, he even don't, you know, doesn't sometimes come because of the kind of work he does. He doesn't come frequently. Like now he's not here. One as we son. He will watch this on video. Huh? <laughs> One as we son. Amen. I have refused to see him. So he comes on Wednesday. And cut a C, I am known. I am a very good Go, I'm very good in hospitality. I made sure there's a bottle of soda. I made sure there was some strong tea. Are you understanding? And then he comes in and says, okay, oh, you're welcome, you've come. And this guy is just in casual. You can't even know. Oh, my goodness. I'm trying. You know, Elijah, when the Shunammite's womb, his baby had gotten sick and died. He, the the Shunammite woman comes to see Elisha, and Elisha says, God, you have not revealed this to me. What is wrong with the Shunammite woman? The same, 
God I did not reveal to me what this guy was looking. Si kila kitu Mungu anarevealianga pastor. This one I had no revelation. Praise God. He sits, I have broken the ice. How are your children? You have, how is your baby? I uh, am told your husband, your wife is pregnant. When is the baby due coming? And you know, I'm breaking the ice. And then when I've broken the ice, I have gone and served him tea. Listen, I'm, I'm just be trying to be good. Are you understanding what I'm saying? <laughs> and now I sit and tell you, man, you are the one who called for this meeting. Why did you call for this meeting? And I'll keep quiet. And this gentleman opens his mouth and tells me, Pastor, I heard from God. Praise God. What does that say? God is still speaking. Yes. Praise God. This gentleman, you must not be a pastor to hear from God. This gentleman is not a pastor, but he heard the voice of God. Yes. Are you understanding? And Amen. now he comes to tell the pastor, I heard from God. The same God did not speak to me. Are you understanding? Yes. Okay, what did God say? Two things God told me. That I should do, no, he says I heard from God, and God said, God said that I do something in the church. Ah, that made me happy. I do something in the church, and I was wondering which thing is this that he wants to do in the church. Listen to this. And he tells me, but I'm very clear. I am very clear on two things. God did not tell me to support you to go to Kanamai in Mombasa. Oh, I just laughed. I was thinking, 56,000 shillings has come. Oh my goodness, God. He tells me two things God said. I should not support the, work in the, the trip in Mombasa. And I was in need. I did have the 56,000. Then number two, he says, what God did not tell me, that I should not be able to support the project of the man. And I'm broken even more. The Mombasa one has broken me. The men's project, you know the men's project is costing 300,000. But I was thinking, oh my goodness, he's saying that I want to support the men's project. 3,000, 300,000 shillings gone. Now I asked him, what did God say? And he told me, I am not clear. That's why I'm here. And he tells me, what is urgent on your desk? Oh my goodness. That finds me blank. He didn't give me notice to revise, to understand what is urgent on my desk on the church. He has refused the journey to Mombasa. He has refused the men's project. What is urgent on your He uses the word urgent. To know that God speaks the Holy Spirit. Lift your hand and say, thank God for the Holy Spirit. Thank God for the Holy, thank God for the Holy Ghost. Thank God for the Holy he Ghost. revealed it to me what was urgent. Last two months, I sat with Pastor Kai, and Pastor Kai brought a need on my desk. And he said, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things we want for media upgrading. And the Holy Spirit reminds me and remembers that what the list Kai sent, I went to Kai's page and retrieved and forwarded to him. And he said, Pastor, I have received, but there's no budget. There is no budget. Item, 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 but no price. Quickly, I call Kai. Kai, where are you? Where are you? Can you talk in a minute? Can you talk in a minute? Okay. Give me a list of the prices of the things you want for media. And quickly, Pastor Kai sends on my page the budget. Can I say? Yes. Can I say the budget? Yes. 768,000. I'm going to start apologizing. Mm -hmm. You know, the budget is a little bit high. The budget is a little bit high, I'm sorry. Even if it's higher than your budget of what God said, we will understand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we will understand. 750, that's just less, a little amount of money to a million. Mm -hmm. And this gentleman looks at it and says, okay, uh, pastor, I will be talking to you. I'll be talking to you. He doesn't tell me you're going to pay. And I hold his hand and I pray, God, just bless this man that you have spoken to him, that he may raise whatever amount that he can be able to raise. He left in my office and in five minutes, because he just lives in the neighborhood, he sent me a call and said, Pastor, which account? 
tell your neighbor which account. Which account? <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Which account? Amen. Amen. And in less than three minutes, my phone tell it. It was confirmed that the money is in the account. How much money? Six hundred thousand. Six hundred thousand. It was not on a Sunday. It would be Mungu yumema ni umutu atoe. Tuimbe toa ndugu toa that. It did not require any singing. Yes. It did not require any request. I did not beg, but the Lord spoke. The Amen. Lord spoke. Amen. The Lord spoke. Yes. And this man remained faithful. Do you know, God speaks to all of us, but we tend to respond to what we want to respond to. When I got the message, 600,000 shillings in our Kenya, uh, our, our county is in uh, Kingdom Bank. One has first. Amen. Kingdom Bank. <laughs> Kingdom Bank was shaking. One has first. Amen. 600,000. One has first. And a message follows. Pastor, God willing, tomorrow by 11. I will be sending the balance. Amen. I didn't know how to kneel. I didn't know how to lift my hands to speak in tongues. The Lord had made it. Amen. I want to say this. The Lord is a miracle worker. Amen. He makes a way yes. where there is no way. Yes. He knows your situation. You only need to respond yes. to what he wants you to respond to and he will respond to your needs. Mm. I went and gave 50,000 in Tasia Baraka. The Lord rewarded me with 768,000. Amen. 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 He can minister to your life. He can minister to your family. Amen. What I came to say is that God is still in the business of ministering to his people. Amen. When we are talking about the vine, the vine and the branches and the fruits, you can bear fruits. Amen. Listen to this. Even if you want, can I forget that gentleman? No. Throughout my life. Never. Can I, I, I love it. I love it. We are the same. Sasa. Una esa sa umutu uyo aje. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Yes. Praise God. Amen. In these months of breakthroughs, that was my day of breakthrough. Amen. Praise God. Yes. April was my indeed day of breakthrough. I love that God ministers in, prophe in prophecies. He gave me breakthrough and we got a breakthrough mm. in the months of May. Amen. You see the clarity of our equipment just, just yesterday, comfortably, I called Kai. Where are you? Come. And I sent 126,000. Sija uliza, ni nini unaenda kununua? Because pesa hiko. Pesa hiko. Pesa hiko. Oh my goodness. God can change your status in twinkle of an eye. Yes. He can change your situation in a twinkle or in a twinkle of an eye. Yes. Your situation can change. Amen. Can I profess? Yes. May your situation of finances change. Amen. May your situation of businesses change. Amen. Can I say it? Yes. May your situation of success be able to come quickly. Yes. May God accelerate your life Amen. in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Amen. Spirit. Give a clap and a celebration. Amen. Give a clap and a celebration unto the Lord. The Sunni was Yama. We are in was Yama. We are in was Yama. Praise God. Amen. Nasai bear. Munani Shika, Mam Shiki. Sana. Mungu akitenda unasikia anga kulia, unasikia kufanya nini, siku hii hata lunch si kuenda. Utakulaje hapa taitilienda bwana? <laughs> Utakula aje. I came to say few things. 
Oh, Jesus preached the message of the kingdom. That is what happens in the kingdom. I came to tell ladies, dwell in the kingdom. Yeah. Serve in the kingdom. Yes. Stay in the kingdom. Yes. Because we have what we call kingdom miracles. We have what we call kingdom blessings. Yes. We come have what we call kingdom success. Yes. He accelerates your life. Some people, what people did in 10 years, you do it in a day. Even if we came together to collect fundraisings, we will not reach that amount. Amen. Amen. Another level God is taking us. Be fruitful in the earth. Yes. Can I say it again? Yes. May you be fruitful here. Yes. May you be fruitful in your church. Yes. Be fruitful in your community. Yes. Be fruitful in your neighborhood. Yes. Wherever you go, may the fruitfulness of God come. Amen. Give me Acts chapter number 14, verse number 16 to 17. Acts 14. I want to cruise 14, 16, and 17. Are you having microphones? Yes. Please go with me. Acts 14. Acts 14. The Acts of the Apostles 14, verse 16 and 17. Are you there? One, two, three. Who in bygone gone. generations, generations allowed, allowed all, all nations, nations to, to walk, walk in their, in their own, own ways? ways. One as for a son. Amen. Who in the bygone gen, in the bygone gen, past the generations allowed all nations to walk in their own ways? Listen to verse number 17. The Bible says. Verse number 17. Well, let's go. Nevertheless, he did not leave himself without witnesses. In that, he did good. Gave us rains from heaven and fruitful seasons. May God give you rains from heaven. May God give you fruitful seasons. May God open your doors. May you be able to restore what you lost. May everything be able to come back. Why? A season of rain has come. The rain of blessing. The rain of finances. The rain of money. The rain of resources. The Bible says, and fruitfulness in seasons. May this be your season of being fruitful Amen. in the name of the law. The Bible says, filling, filling our, our hearts, hearts with, with food, food and what? Yes. And gladness. Filling our lives. May your family dance. Yes. May your children celebrate. Amen. May you not lack. Amen. May he fill your life yes. with food. Amen. May he fill your life with Amen. gladness. Yes. Put your hands together and give a clap Amen. unto the Lord. Give a celebration yes. unto our Father. God's blessing always brings forth fruitfulness. Yes. When God blesses you, you see the fruitfulness of God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Lift your right hand and say, God, God may, I be may I be a candidate, a candidate of, fruitfulness of fruitfulness in my dispensation. In my dispensation. May, I be may I be a candidate, a candidate of, abundance, of abundance, plenty of food, plenty of food and, living in gladness. and living in gladness. Put your hands together and give a clap unto the Lord. This comes from, this comes in a form of provision. This comes in a form of pro profession. Uh, this comes in a form of character building. And this comes in a form of spiritual empowerment. One as for a son. That the Lord visits you. And you are provided. Amen. And your profession increases. Amen. And your character is molded. Amen. And your spiritual life is empowered. Amen. Listen to this. Yes. In God's character. In God's character is the one that uh, comes with good fruits. You know the character of God himself. Yes. Comes with good fruits. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Yes. Listen to this. As we grow in God. We grow in our jobs. Ah, yes. As we grow in God, yes. we grow in our family. Yes. As we grow in God, yes. we grow in our relationship. Amen. As we grow in God, we grow in character yes. and in every area of your life. Amen. May your finances grow. Amen. May your children grow. Amen. May your education grow. Amen. May your supply increase in, in the Jesus name of Jesus. Name. Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. We become more loving. 
we become more patient, we become more persevering, we yes. become more successful yes. in Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Amen. That we become all these things in Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Sema, ah. Ah. Sema, ah. Ah. Listen to this. Yes. Pray the presence of God increases in us and when the presence increases in us abundance follows yes psalms psalms chapter 1 of 5 20 verse number 24 psalms chapter number 1 of 5 verse number 24 are we there 1 of 5 24 well go with me please he increased his, his people, people greatly. greatly. Oh, can I say to the people here or the people in the middle or the people this side? Yes. Can I begin here? Yes. May you be increased greatly. Amen. May you be increased greatly. Amen. May your businesses be increased greatly. Amen. May your finances be increased greatly. Amen. The increase we are talking about is the fruitfulness. Amen. Amen. And listen to what the Bible says in part B. And, and make them, them stronger than, than their, their enemies. enemies. Praise God. Can they, I say it again? Yes. May you be stronger than your neighbors. Amen. May you be richer than your brothers. Yes. May you be richer than your uncles. Amen. May you be richer by the, by, than the people Amen. around about you. Amen. I am saying, may you be richer are you understanding what I'm saying? Yes. God is the one who makes the people rich and stronger. And in finances, shall may you be strong. Amen. Say amen. Amen. In business, may you be strong. Amen. In property, may you be strong. Amen. In success, may you be strong. Amen. In education, may you be strong. Amen. Lift up your hands and give a clap and a amen. celebration. This kind of message, I don't know how to finish. I am left with five minutes. In five minutes, let me see what I can do. The presence of Jesus Christ will always lead us in fruitfulness. Yes. Amen. I am the vine. Mm -hmm. I am the vine. You are the branches. Yes. As long as you abide in Christ, mm -hmm. you will always enjoy fruitfulness. Amen. My life changed. I lived in poverty. I know poor people calling us poor. The first day I went to school, I did not afford a short trouser. I was given Niles Ralia Maji Nashatilirefu. The people would be able, the children would be able to come and open up and see whether I'm naked or not naked. That is shame of the highest order. But today, as I speak, yes. uh, today, as I speak, yes. I have seen the greatness of God. Amen. I have seen the providences of God. Amen. One person whose grandfather did not know a title deed, his father did not know a title deed. Mm. As I stand here, I have held title deeds in my hands. Yes. Can we lift our hands and just give a clap unto the Lord? Amen. May the Lord give you a name where I do not have a name. Amen. May God give you a status where I do not have status. Amen. May God give you a position that you never, your family have ever had. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Just love God. Just stay yours. Hook yourself in the vine. Listen to this. James chapter 2 and verse number 20. It worries when a Christian is fruitfulness. When you see a Christian who is fruitless, it worries. You ask questions, what is wrong? Yeah, it doesn't marry. I said, James, read it with me, please. The people with microphones and all of us. But, but do you, you want, want to know, know oh foolish, foolish man, man, that, that faith, faith without, without works is, is dead? dead. We want a tree with fruits. Yes. Faith with works. Mm -hmm. Go to the next verse, verse number 21. One, two, three, go. Was not Abraham our father? Justified by the word. Praise God. Amen. 
It was foolishness for Abraham to believe God for a son. And then the same God tells Abraham, give me the son. When you hold on to, you remain in scarcity. Can I say it again? Yes. When you hold on to, you remain in scarcity. When you give, you get abundance. Uh, do you need Amen. Harvard University to understand that? No. No, it doesn't require Harvard University. When you become a miser, oh, you are those close. When you give, God does what you can't do. Praise God. Amen. I said, praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, I'm being tempted to say another testimony, but let me move on. We we'll keep it for another day. <laughs> Matthew chapter number 13, verse number 23. Sin in our lives brings delay in fruitfulness. When you live in sin, it delays your prosperity. It delays your success. It delays your increase. Listen to this. Get rid of sin and become fruitful. Yes. Church, can we say this? Yes. yes, Kai, you are telling me something. Say it. How many more minutes you give me? Leo, in the last day, five minutes, thank you. Can you clear for Kai? <laughs> Amen. One, two, three, go. Now, now he, he who receives seed, seed among on the, the thorns is, is he who hears the word. <laughs> and the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and he becomes unfruitful. Praise God. Can Amen. we read it again like we know what we're reading? Now, now he, he who, who receives, receives the seed, seed among, the, among thorns the thorns is he the, who hears, hears the, the word, word and, and the cares of this the world. world. The sins of this world. The sickness of riches chokes the word and, he, and becomes he becomes unfruitful. unfruitful. It is possible that you can stop hearing God and become unfruitful. Yes. But what are we saying? Can we listen to the word of God and that we may be able to become fruitful? fruitful. Pastor David, I want to eat the fruits of your hands that God may be able to bless me. I am a child of Abraham. Anybody who blesses me is blessed. Yes. One as full as Amen. Why are we blessed? We are blessed to be a blessing. Hallelujah. Amen. Remain, remain the good soil and become fruitful. As we relate with Christ, we enhance fruitfulness. Praise God. Amen. Listen to this. Christ gives us enabling grace to do what? To prosper in, vain, in every area of our life. Prosperity is by the grace of God. Yes. Having children is the grace of God. Amen. Getting married is the grace of God. Amen. Pastor Herbert building at home is the grace of God. Parking more than one car is the grace of God. Yes. Praise God. Amen. May you be graced. May you be graced. Amen. May you be graced. Amen. May the grace of God flow over your life Amen. that you will do stuff. Amen. Neema tu. Ni kwa neema tu. Psalms chapter number one. I want to close from there. Psalms chapter number one. One. One, two, three, go. This will bless you, whether you like it or you don't like it. Abi, I've not preached for you for a long time. I'm happy that today I'm preaching for you. Can you clap for me? Thank you, Abi. <laughs> I'm just teasing my daughter. One, two, three, go. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. Lesson one to begin. Blessed is the man, man who, who walks, walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, ungodly nor the stands in the paths path of sinners, sinners nor, nor sits in the, in the seat seats of the, of the scornful. Verse number two. The Bible says, verse number two. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And, and in his, his law, he meditates day, day and night. Go to verse number three. That's where I want my key scripture. Verse number three says, And he shall be, be like, like a, tree. a tree. Praise God. Amen. And he shall be like, like a, a tree. tree. Done what? Planted by, by the rivers that water. brings forth 
It is fruit in season and out of season. His leaves shall also not, not wither. wither. May your businesses not wither. Amen. May your job not wither. Amen. May your blessings not go down. Amen. The blessings that God has released in your life, may it increase, may it succeed Amen. in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And all of us said Amen. Amen. Can we stand up and just give a clap and a, clap and a celebration unto the Lord? Lift up your hands and just celebrate to the Father.